Welcome to another edition of ITW, the show that's going to help you enhance instruction through innovation. Arby Harris and David Kasebeki are here. We're going to bring you another episode where we have some interesting topics. But before we get to that, you know, I know I mentioned in our first episode that the day you are, you are getting engaged. And I want to congratulate you. I'm very happy for you. That I have one question that everyone's dying to know. Have you bought a dress yet? Yes? No? No? Did you get the veil? Anything? Speechless. I don't even know what to say. Yes. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, while David is doing his David doing his dress shopping, um, I did want to mention one other thing to you. I think in our first episode, we talked about student email being available in our, it's our second episode. It was yes. in our second, it was in last episode. Oh, well, we, we mentioned, mentioned the student email um, as a part of that. Um, and we want to make one uh, amendment to that, which is that um, for our students 6 through 12, that email has already been set up. But for our students K through 5, if you would like to activate that for, for your students, um, just contact your principal so they can take the proper steps to do that. We wanted to just to make sure that was clarified. Uh, K through five, our elementary um, students, if you want those to be activated, uh, teachers, if you want those to be activated for your students, contact your principal um, and they can take you that take the steps to get that set for you. So. That one to this week's episode. Yes. Uh, it's gonna be a great episode, guys. We're talking Chromebooks. Chromebooks are in the hands of all of our fifth through ninth graders. Uh, last year they were in every middle school, but we've extended it to, uh, to fifth and ninth graders this year. Yes. And so what we're going to do, guys, we come up with ten tips yes. for Chromebooks. Mm -hmm. um, and those tips could be anything that, from helping you manage them in the classroom to uh, just little tips for you for you using the Chromebook or for your students using the Chromebook. So stay tuned for this episode of ITW about Chromebooks. So the first tip that we want to offer you for using the Chromebooks is one way where you can manage them uh, is by giving them uh, keywords to use or to know whenever they're using the device. One of them might be uh, the 0, 45, 90 keyword. So if the, if the Chromebook is at 90, when you say 90, students are, have their Chromebook up, ready to use. When it's at 45, it's slanted down. So they're listening to you, but they haven't closed the device. And when you say zero, now their Chromebook is closed and they have your and now you have their full attention. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how you can access files off of your USB or any other external hard drive. All you're going to do is go ahead and plug it into your Chromebook. And then you can go down in the bottom left to your launcher. And then select all apps. Then you're going to select the files apps. And your Google Drive will appear as well as anything you've downloaded. And then right below your downloads, your external hard drive will appear. You can select your external hard drive and all of your files should be located right there. You can then select your uh, file and take, uh, drag it over to your My Drive or you can just open up the file directly from the Files app. And there are your files. In this tip, I'm going to show you how you can bring up your keyboard tutorial on your Chromebook. All you need to do is go ahead and select the Control, Alt, and Question Mark keys, and a keyboard will pop up. This keyboard will show you different shortcuts you can use on your Chromebook. For instance, you can hold down the Shift key and see all of the Shift combination shortcuts, or you can hold down the Control key or the Alt key. You can also hold down combinations of any of the Shift, Control, or Alt keys like control and alt and see those combinations or shift and control. And this is how you can use the keyboard tutorial on your Chromebook. Another important tip for teachers and students to know is how to navigate through the trackpad. So it's important to, to distinguish how students and teachers can use uh, this piece um, on the Chromebook. First of all, um, one thing on, on the trackpad is like your left click. So if I, if I want to left click, I just click on that with one finger. My two fingers at the same time right clicks. So if I want to right click on my, my uh, Chromebook, I would use two finger clicks at the same time. Um, three fingers on, on your Chromebook, when you swipe it from left to right, that will allow you to navigate to different tabs in my Chrome browser. Um, so that's how to navigate through the trackpad with one finger, two fingers, and three fingers. This tip is going to show you how you can take screenshots on your Chromebook. So all you need to do if you want to take a screenshot is go ahead and push the control and the window switcher button at the very top right above the number six key. So once you do that, you will see a screenshot has been taken. 
and it will appear in your My Drive folder. If you want to do a selection on your screen, so you want to only select a certain part of your screen, you would hit Control, Shift, and the window switcher button, and then crosshairs will come up, and you can go ahead and select what you want to take a screenshot of. That will also appear in your My Drive folder. This tip is going to show you how you can do what's called snap windows, and this will basically allow you to, do, to view two full Chrome web tabs at the same time. So this is very helpful when you might be writing a paper or just documenting something from another website. So as you can see, if I click on the Chrome uh, button at the very bottom, I have two Chrome windows open. And so let's say I have this Google Doc open and I want to snap it to the left hand side of the screen so I can see my other uh, Chrome browser. All I'm gonna do is select the Alt and left bracket and that will move that window to the left hand side. And now if I select the other Chrome browser and I hit Alt and the right bracket, you can then snap both windows so you can see both of your browser windows at the same time. This tip is going to show you how you can access the Chrome Web Store. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the launcher in the bottom left hand corner and then select Web Store. From here you will get the Chrome Web Store tab to pop up. You will see recommended items for CMS users. You will also uh, see themes, a section on themes that you can uh, get to outfit your Chrome browser as well as extensions and apps that will enhance uh, the experience for you and your students in order to enhance the instruction that you're giving in the classroom. The next tip is called Google Tone. Google Tone is a Chrome uh, extension that you can download from the Chrome Web Store. Once you have that downloaded on your device as well as on the students' devices, you can then uh, share any website with the students. And this basically saves you from having to create a URL shortener or using a QR code. So all you're going to do is go to your website, and then you're going to click on the Google Tone button. It's going to transmit that tone to all of your students. And then your students are going to click on the notification, and their the website that you share with them will then pop up in their Chrome browser. This next tip is extremely helpful for a couple different reasons. Number one, in case you abs uh, accidentally close your Chrome web browser, or in the situation where you might have students on inappropriate websites and they close their browser and you want to see what websites or what tabs they have open. So for instance, if you close the Chrome browser, and then you open Chrome back up, it starts with a new tab. Well, if you hit Control Shift T, all of the last browse uh, tabs that you had open will then pop up. The final tip we want to show you guys for your Chromebook is how to shut it down quickly. Just a quick command that you can give to your students. It is Control Shift QQ. By pressing Control Shift QQ, that shuts down my device, restarts it and then my students can put it away and they're off to the next class. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's episode of ITW. Hopefully, we gave you one or two tips that will help you guys or your students uh, utilize the Chromebook in the classroom. Um, I do wanna remind you again, as always, we have our Innovative Teacher of the Month. We have some entries coming in. Thank you guys for sending those in. We encourage you guys to, to, to put those in each month. Um, and, and send us what, what are some of the innovative things that you're seeing in your school. And also don't forget at our CLN website, we, we, we do post all of our videos there. You can filter that by whatever videos that, that you, you're looking for on whatever topic you're looking for. So don't forget to check that out whenever you get shot. Guys, once again, that wraps up another episode of ITW. Remember, you can hit us up on Twitter. Our handle is uh, at CMS of the Corp, or you can uh, email either one of us. But, Thanks again for checking us out and tune in next week for another episode of ITW.